Metalloids can be found on the periodic table between post-transition metals and non-metals in a staircase structure. Elements classified as metalloids include boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, and polonium. polonium. Generally, metalloids look like metals but largely behave as non-metals. They are shiny, brittle solids with fairly good electrical conductivity and the electronic band structure of the semi-metal or semiconductor. The melting points range from polonium at 254 degrees Celsius to boron at 2076 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point ranging from arsenic at 614 degrees Celsius to boron at 3927 degrees Celsius. Boron was not known until the early 19th century when Sir Humphrey Davy, Joseph Gay-Lussac, and Louis Dunard created it. However, it was not of interest to the 20th century, where it was discovered that boron formed lots of unusual and complex compounds. Boron is a crucial nutrient for plants and an important component in the nuclear industry. When boron is in its crystalline form, it's the second hardest element behind carbon in its diamond form. Although arsenic compounds were mined by ancient Chinese, Greek, and Egyptian empires, it's thought that arsenic itself was identified by German by a German alchemist Albert Magnus in 1250. Today, most arsenic is used to make rat poison and insecticides because it's poisonous. When arsenic is heated, it oxidizes and releases an odor similar to that of garlic. Arsenic containing minerals that are hit with a hammer will also release the gar the garlic smell. Post-transition metals can be found on the periodic table between metalloids and transition metals. Post-transition metals include aluminum, gallium, lead, tin, thallium, indium, and bismuth. Under certain conditions, they are solid and have a high density. In comparison to transition metals, post-transition metals are softer and have a lower melting and boiling points. The melting point ranges from gallium at 29.76 degrees Celsius to aluminum at 660.32 degrees Celsius. The boiling point ranges from thallium at 1473 degrees Celsius to aluminum at 2519 degrees Celsius. Thallium was discovered in 1861 when chemist Sir William Crookes removed selenium from sludge left over from the production of sulfuric acid and observed the sludge under a spectroscope looking for tellurium. Instead of tellurium's yellow lines, he saw a bright green line never before seen. He named the new element thallium after the Greek word for green twig thallos. Pure thallium and its components are highly toxic. It's especially dangerous because compounds are colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Thallium can be absorbed from the skin, ingested, or inhaled. If more than a gram of thallium is ingested, symptoms of thallium poisoning can develop. Indium was found by Ferdinand Reich in 1863 when he was investigating a mineral he thought had the recently discovered thallium. However, his spectroscope showed lines not of thallium. Because he was colorblind, he asked a colleague to look at it and it was discovered that a bright violet line was present, which he named indium. Indium is a fairly rare on earth and is mostly found in zinc ores. However, lead, copper, and iron ores can also contain it. The world's supply of indium consisted of one gram until 1924. Today, 4 million troy ounces are made yearly mostly by Canada, Russia, and China. Indium is not toxic and could stay as a liquid over a vast range of temperatures. It's used to make alloys and germanium transistors. It can also be evaporated onto glass to form mirrors similar to those made of silver.